What's up, man? How you doing? I'm doing all right, man. You know. You saw them people out here protesting earlier? Uh, no justice, no peace, yeah. And we're gonna do it for Trayvon Morton. And we wanna do it every day. We don't wanna forget. We don't wanna forget. It's three strikes and you're out. We don't wanna forget. That could be you. That could have been you that was Trayvon Morton. We don't wanna let them forget. One thing about America, we would protest for one day and then move back onto our natural lives and habitats. No, you need to remember. You need to remember exactly what happened and what's really going on. Every year go by, there's another murder, there's another murder. We didn't have to worry about um, Trayvon Martin. There's been other murders that's been happening, you know? America's not set for an African American. It's really not, and it's sad. This is the uh, poverty. This is where the low income housing is at, right? They put guns and drugs here for us. They put these laws here for us. We don't make guns, and we sure don't make drugs. But why is this flooded all around our streets? And why is our youth and our kids and our generation have it? And when they have it, that gives what? The white man a reason to mess with you. Because you're carrying weed, you're carrying kush, you're carrying all these pills, these mollies, carrying these guns, and now you give them a reason for them to come search you, harass you, sit you in a correctional facility, and tell you how it's supposed to go. The Tea Party is against you. Nobody else is not against you. What you know about the Tea Party? You sound like you stay up on, on politics. Well, I read it, and I read it on that sign over there, and those are the worst people that's killing us, are the Tea Party. And I know a little bit about the politics, the Democrats, the Republicans, and stuff like that. And I know that's a long story. I'm still reading up, but I'm only 23, you know. I, I gotta learn, and you gotta learn. I think, you know, a lot of these cats out here are racist. And a lot of this stuff right here is going on too massive. It's too massive. It's massive, yo. What I mean massive, like, the judge, the lawyers, the doctors, and stuff like that. They're all playing in their little party game and this and that, and they're all playing with people's lives and setting people up. And they kind of add a little bit on, a little bit of too much that what wasn't added on to the court case, to the crime. You robbed somebody, but did you sock him? Did you punch him and take that out? No, you actually know what you did when you robbed that person. You took the phone, you took whatever and got on, you left. You didn't punch this person or put fear in this piece of heart, but now it's a 415 and robbery and assault and that. Now you gotta go in court and face that out. And they look at you in court now, and they look at you and say 415 assault, robbery and this and that, and you say, hey, look, I didn't do all that. I only took a phone and that's it. And they're still not even willing, they're still willing not even to give you the sake for your life. So they're gonna look at you as an evil spirit, demon. You're in, you showed up, this is your name on it. So this is what we're gonna do. They're gonna send you to prison. I know all my friends, a whole family members, and a whole lot of other people went to prison. And I managed to stay out of prison is by managing to stay away from the cops. Don't look at them, say hello, do whatever it takes to get them out of your face. I think you should just, you know, stick on a steady path. Worry about yourself, stick on a steady path. Worry about how to get you a house, worry about how to get your car, get your small business, keep the money rotating, keep the money floating in so you can get you an establishment to survive. So the more money you have, the better person you will be. Stick on having money so you can survive, buy your house, buy your family. Family comes with the housing. Get you some tools, make you build you up something in the house. Teach your kids a trade, teach them a career. Teach them grant scholarships. Teach them a career, scholarship, grants, and loans. Not to pick up a gun and game bank for a red, white, and blue. No, you're just killing each other. Don't get in love with the money. Don't fall in love with the money. Don't be all obsessed with money because money comes and goes. I don't know a person of me right now that's obsessed with money. I have materialistic things on. And I'm not obsessed with fucking money. I buy Jordans every day, but I. It, what the fuck? I don't care about money like that. So you gotta slow down on caring about money too. You gotta just know, okay, it brings apart and that's it. Yeah, they're just here, they're just here bored. There's 
no crime going on, but everything's, they're here. There's no crime going on, nothing. But they're racing through the streets, acting like a total, complete fool. That's why I said, do not bring the fucking police in the fucking community. Don't. They total fucking idiots with a badge. Racing through here and shit. Ain't nothing going on. Ain't nobody hurt. Everybody trying to live, but they racing through here with their lights on like it's some type of crime. Man, y'all need to figure it out, people. They not here to help us. They here to lock us up. That's what I think about it. The matter is, is, is just about more than race, though. But uh, we can put the, all of that to the side, and still, what happened wasn't right. We are sinking beneath the tide of ugliness that has been heaped upon us as a people, while those in power would have us believe that they are trying to protect our rights by doing the egregious and ugly things they're doing.